Talking the West. Syracuse is interesting here because they got the number one seed. We talked about that in one of our previous segments. They've got some. They got an injury to the big man. Rinse Anawaku. Thank you. I didn't want to say. I didn't want to play. <laughs> I didn't have to. <laughs> because I'm tight. Um, a lot of people think they're going to be able to overcome that. I think you guys are in there too. Though. It won't yeah. be a big factor. Well, they turned out it wasn't a knee injury. It turned out it was a quad injury. So he's going to miss the first game. But I mean, after that, you know. And, and the fact is, I mean, they they're not. Super deep, but the seven guys that play a lot are really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Wesley Johnson, there's a future pro. Yeah. You yeah. know? Andy Routon, son of Leo. I mean, he can play some. You know? Yeah. I, I like their team. It's an amazing thing how they've turned it over in one year. I mean, what, they lose four starters? Yeah. Uh, but they're so, a better team this year. No question. There's no question about it. And and guys that could – lots of guys who can handle and pass and, and good decision makers and mm-hmm. in addition to this goofy defense that they play. It's not goofy. It's no. – it, it's an old school almost kind of thing, but they're really, really good at it because they're also, you know, really big and athletic in addition to being skilled. So there's a lot to like about Syracuse. Yeah, I mean, and, and uh, to me, it, I mean, maybe I'm wrong on this, but it seems like they trap out of that more than they, they have in years past. Mm. They'll, they'll get somebody along the sideline and, you know, they'll get two long arm guys and they, yeah. they won't be able to, yeah. you know, to make the pass to the high post, and, you know, and so everything goes. I think they trap out of it when they have the right people to trap sure. out of it, and they do. That, yeah. That's that's what's uh, – so they're really hard. They're well, hard to play against. I think Beheim said after they lost to Georgetown in the quarterfinals of the East Tournament, he said, well, I can't wait to get out of conference so we find somebody that doesn't know us. Yeah. Like Georgetown, because Georgetown had lost twice to them, and then third time they chewed them up. Yeah. And they yeah, do. I think I think there's a lot of Big East teams who probably think that. I think Nova sure. probably thinks that too. Uh, uh, think let's get out of the, the league and get away right. from these people that are so familiar with. So we like Syracuse at the top of the bracket. Who yeah. else stands out? Let's let's say who's the who's who's overrated here? Who's who? Pitt's overrated. Okay, Pitt's not good. I mean, we we talked about this. Uh, I, they, they always seem to get to a game in the tournament where they just can't score, mm-hmm. and I think that's going to happen again. I just think they have that kind of team that's. You know, they're not going to be able to lock people down, and they're just not going to be able to score enough to win, and that's I, that'll be it. I love their program. He's a wonderful yeah. coach. They have really tough kids that yeah. share the ball and play together. And but play you're hard. right. Sometimes it's just sometimes it's just like uh, it's like this. It's just a, no, it's, it's just it's such it's a tough crunch. to watch. Yeah. It is, and 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 uh, I, I agree. I think they're and, and I also I also wonder about Butler. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a five seed, that, that that really again a really good program, mm-hmm. but uh, I, I think teams that can attack defensively will right. cause a lot of problems for them. I, I, I think they're they're somewhat limited. Well, it's a tough matchup. UTEP has a big guy used to be at Louisville, who's mm-hmm. he's, he's two hundred seventy five pounds, about six foot nine, yeah. and they've got a, a good guard. So I think they don't matter. It's a it's a struggle for Butler as far as the matchup goes. Mm-hmm. There, if you want to see an upset team, UTEP might be there as a twelve seed to get yeah. an upset. Yeah, I yeah. think that's I think that's a fair point. Uh, so we're looking for Syracuse to play who in that I, I, region and final? Kansas State's had a really nice year, and it's like you pointed out, you know, seven losses, but two of them are to Kansas, and you know, and they played yeah. them pretty tough the second time, especially. And I, I like I, their team. I mean, I, I think I think they got a chance to get out there and you know and see Syracuse. I, I mean, suspect that that league was really good. You don't, you, you never know, and you right. start to get an indication when we start going into the flow of this tournament. But I suspect that the Big Twelve was maybe was maybe a little better than 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 maybe is nationally recognized. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. I mean, probably probably second best to the Big East. Yeah, the ACC didn't have a very good year. Yeah. I, I think I think that's probably a fair yeah. statement. Yeah. yeah, I would agree with that. 